Hello, I'm Gail Annis Porter. I'm speaking to you from the sanctuary of Linden Linthicum United Methodist Church. And I wanted to say a word about cicadas. Anybody tired of cicadas yet? Um, you can't see it, but Dave is here in the room and he just raised his hand. He's tired of cicadas, tired of the noise, tired of them being all over the ground. I'm tired of holding back my younger dog from eating them all the time because uh, evidently a couple of them's not so bad, but if you eat a lot, they're not good for you if you're a dog. Who knew? Um, but I think people are kind of getting tired of that. And I've heard them talked about as a plague, right? And um, people have said, are these the same locusts that are in the Bible, the plague that's in the Bible? Well, uh, that's an interesting question, and they're probably not the same. Uh, but, you know, we kind of get the idea of what is being talked about in the Bible. Um, usually, when we hear the word plague, we think of a contagious bacterial disease, right? Um, like the bubonic plague and uh, the black plague, those kind, of, those kind of things that killed so many people. But in the Bible, it's these plagues, these things that um, were, that God made happen in order to change Pharaoh's heart. And there were, one of them was the coming of the locusts. And here's what it says in chapter 10 of Exodus. It says, Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and said to him, God, the God of the Hebrews says, how long are you going to refuse to knuckle under? Release my people so that they can worship me. If you refuse to release my people, watch out. Tomorrow I'm bringing locusts into your country. They will cover every square inch of ground. No one will be able to see the ground. They'll devour everything left from after the hailstorm, even the saplings out in the fields. They'll clear cut the trees and they'll invade your houses, filling the houses of your servants, filling every house in Egypt. No one will have ever seen anything like this from the time your ancestors first set foot on this soil until today. Now this is the paraphrase of Eugene Peterson called the message. So the language is a little bit uh, less biblical, if you will, than you might have heard before. But the part that I was thinking about, it says they'll cover every square inch of the ground. No one will be able to see the ground. What are your cicadas? What are your locusts? What are the things that obscure things that cover, that take up so much space that they keep you from being able to see the ground or the way forward or a solution or a relationship? What stands in the way for you? What is like that cicada that's all over the ground around here or that locust in, Egypt, uh, when the, the plagues were coming, what is obscuring things for you? God can take care of that. Whatever it is, we all allow those things to happen by our hardness of heart, like uh, Pharaoh, by our uh, unwillingness to hear the voice of another person. We all have these things that make it impossible for us to see, for us to be able to move forward. In these days, it might be our thoughts about politics and our thoughts about um, human relationships. Sometimes we get so c covered over our, our viewpoints, our eyesight, that we can't see what's ahead. What is it that makes it so that you can't see what's under your feet? Let God work on your heart. Let God soften your heart as God wanted to soften Pharaoh's so that God's redeeming work will be able to be done in you and through you, no matter how many plagues are going on. Trust God. Amen.